this interesting version of Down by the Bay. And you can see it has some complicated things going on, some big left hand chords and some big left hand geography. I've tried to figure out ways to simplify that and I haven't come up with anything yet, but I might in the future. For now, we're gonna focus on the right hand, which is pretty easy. First thing is, let's take a quick look at the music. Okay, a couple things to point out. I hope you can see this okay. First of all, F sharp in the key signature. So anytime you encounter an F, make sure you play it as a sharp. Second thing in the music, put a finger one on this first note, this first D in the left hand, your, or in the right hand, excuse me. Um, your right hand will basically be sitting in D position for most of the song, so just stick a little one there um, for your first right hand finger number. And then the other thing is down here on the third line, at the end of the third line, we're changing this a little bit. The right hand is written uh, with the two Ds here, um, which is a different melody than I'm familiar with. So what I wrote in instead is a G with finger two, and then right after that an A for the words did you. So it'll sound like, okay? Uh, what they have written in here is something different. So just put in a G and an A there and finger two on the G. So do that to your music. Now let's walk through the right hand. Again, at the beginning, we're gonna leave out this little intro at the very beginning, and we're just gonna start with down by the bay. So finger one on D, okay? Sitting in D position. Second line, we have an F sharp. Bit of a trick here. Then we have an F natural. Play that with finger two and then play the E in the next measure with finger one and then we're back into D position. Okay and that takes us to the end of the third line. Now if you want to just go that far that's totally fine. I'll do that one more time from down by the bay. still on that G, so we're still technically sitting in D position. Now, if you want to go forward from there at the end of line three, just move finger two up to G. This is the last line. We're going back and forth between B and B flat. That's it. So do what you can with the right hand and we will address what we're going to do in the left hand at some point in the future. One more thing, you'll see in the music that there are these, um, above the measures, there are these G, D7, um, you see those. Those are not note names, those are chord names, okay? That does not tell you what those notes are. Sometimes there is a correspondence, sometimes there is not. Just ignore those, they're not gonna help.